Hey everyone, this is Tim. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing a dash cam inside the RAV4. This dash cam from Fitcam X is a really cool dash cam because it connects to the wiring inside the rear view mirror and it looks like it's built into the car from the factory. The video quality is really good, the installation was pretty straightforward, and overall we've been really happy with the dash cam. Before we get into the installation, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove this plastic piece that's just behind the rear view mirror inside the RAV4. Okay, there we go. So I had to use a good amount of force to get this off. I don't know if I use too much force, but nothing broke. Everything seems fine. The next step is on this little piece that we just removed, there's these two little orange pieces. I'm gonna take those off and that's gonna be attached to the other piece that came with the new kit. Okay, so here's, here's the new dash cam. And the little orange pieces that I just removed from the part that came with the car, these are gonna get inserted right here. One on this part, one on this part, and that will allow this to clip back in place. Okay, next we're gonna disconnect the cable that's plugged in behind the rear view mirror. There's a little button you press. Easy. All right, so next we've got the wiring harness that came with the new dash cam. So this is going to connect to the wire that we just unplugged into this little port right here. So I'm gonna take this, make sure I line it up correctly. So now we've got our new wiring harness here. This white one is gonna go in where we unplugged the gray wire before, so that's gonna go right here should clip in there we go that clicked in and then with the new dash cam there's this little yellow cable right here this is going to plug in to the other side of the wiring harness and there's a small notch right at the top of this and there's a notched piece with an arrow here so those are going to line up and we're gonna plug that in. And then in the video, they said you could sort of tuck this wire up underneath the headliner a little bit. So I'm gonna try to clean this up, tucking this up here, see if I can. Looks like it's gonna fit right here. Now are my cables in the way? Okay, I think I found what I did wrong here. So I'm gonna unplug this real quick. So here's what I didn't do. There's this little twisty tie right here. This just needs to be undone before starting the installation so that the cables are, are loose. Okay, that actually snapped in easily that time. Okay, now I'm gonna cable manage a little bit up here. Tuck this away. This little cover is going to insert right here. Okay, a little bit of pressure and those clips got in, so there we go. This thing looks good. Let's take a look at it.
I would say this looks really nice. It looks totally built in, totally OEM look. I wouldn't even know there's a dash cam there, honestly. Looks great. That's basically it. Looks really good. All right, so with the instruction manual, there's a QR code to, well, first watch a video on how to install it, and also download the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app and see how that is. Okay, here we are on the app. Yeah, we're connecting to the camera now. It says, after installing the camera, please start your car and the camera will light up. Lighting up right there. Get back on the app, let's hit next. Select camera Wi-Fi and connect. I'm guessing it's this random set of letters here. Okay, so I just checked the instructions that this came with, and it does say connect to this car dash Wi Fi. Camera connection succeeded. Looks like there's a little Access Fit Cam X button down there. And there it is. We are seeing the camera live. That is very cool. Okay, so if you flip sideways, you can see widescreen. The color looks really weird right now. It's like very bluish, greenish. Did I not peel like a sticker off the front or something? All right, so this is why the camera was looking a little bit greenish, bluish. I hadn't removed the little lens cover that came with the camera. So now it's looking great. I mean, I'm gonna show some actual footage from the camera, but the color looks really good on the preview screen from the app now. That's basically it. Looks really good. All right, so now we'll show you some of the footage directly from this camera. We'll show some daytime, some nighttime, some around town, some on the freeway shots. And overall, you'll see that the quality is really good from this dash cam. Uh, it's super stable. Uh, you can see here even at nighttime, it's pretty good. You can see the cars around you. You can't quite read the license plates of cars around you, but I think that's fine. You can really see the type of car, what's going on. Um, overall, it's been awesome having this dash cam in the RAV4. If there's an accident, if something happens, it's great to know that you have footage documenting whatever situation may have occurred. So hopefully you found this installation and review video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the FitCam X, which we highly recommend, check out the link in the description. And as always, thanks again for watching.